Hello everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. The actor Joe Warren Plant has refuted rumors that he started a side gig at a pub in addition to his Emmerdale duties. The actor who is most known for playing Jacob Gallagher on the ITV soap opera was recently seen grabbing pints at a pub in Blackpool, a seaside resort in the north of the country. Prior reports stated that Joe had only recently started working in the pub in order to earn him some extra cash on the side and that he was being taught by other staff on what to do. However, the actor has since declared that he is not working at the ITB so opera and the boozer. The Sun was able to secure photos of Joe 22, who is shown practicing pouring the ideal pint and sporting curly hair, something Jacob doesn't usually wear. A prior insider told the publication, he's fairly new to it all and is being taught on what to do by other staff. He's just been working in the bar for a few weeks now, pulling pints. This is a little side gig to earn him some extra cash on the side. He's still on screen in Emmerdale. Additionally, the source stated that Joe is just a regular boy from Blackpool, despite the fact that shocked patrons couldn't believe their eyes when they went in and found him behind the bar asserting them. It was stated that Joe gets the chance to help out a bit and that he knows the pub's owner. In 2010, Joe has portrayed Jacob in Emmerdale. Most recently, when girlfriend Victoria dissolved their relationship, Jacob was left completely devastated. Vic found out before the breakup that Jacob had turned down the chance to study in Berlin because he didn't want to be apart from her for more than a month. Vic broke up with Jacob because she thought that someday he would feel stuck in her life. Then, a heartbroken Jacob headed to the store to inform Eric and Layla of the news. While Jacob was tending to his wounded heart, Pollard went to visit Jay Sharma. He threatened to reveal the true reason behind Amit's departure from the hamlet if the businessman did not remove Victoria from her position at the Hyde. His intention was to exact retribution. The romance between Johnny Neferson's character Liam Cavanay and Ella Forster in Emmerdale will not work out in the future. This week's horrific episodes expose Ella as a child killer, leaving Liam heartbroken. As suspicions about Ella's unusual behavior and seclusion grew, Ella said that at the age of 11, she had slain Joan, her sole companion. Ella was imprisoned for many years for her crime, but after specialists determined that she posed no threat to the public, she was eventually freed and given a new name. In recent weeks, Lyme has started dating Ella and the upsetting revelations traumatized him. Ella's revelations evoked flashbacks of losing his teenage daughter, Lena, in 2021 during Nina Jutla's murderous rampage. Johnny made the following statement regarding the plot. Lime is completely heartbroken. It's complex, in my opinion, because he had trusted Ella and had taken her in when she was homeless. But what really matters is that Ella's actions were motivated largely by the memory of his daughter's murder all those years before. Hence, it is twofold betrayal. Ella's admission and her account have completely resurrected for him Lena's passing. Considering she was aware of Lena's fate, he finds it hard to imagine she remained in his home while keeping that a secret. Although he did love Ella, he is deeply hurt by her treachery. I think this relationship is now almost definitely cooked. Johnny said in response to a question about whether Liam and Ella could continue. Never say never, but I think the likelihood is rather high. There it is, in my opinion, no way to recover from that. Ella had several opportunities to tell him the truth. She missed numerous opportunities to reveal more about herself and her past to him, and the simple fact that she went into his home and began living with him. He was sharing his home with someone who had murdered someone's daughter. So many levels of deception. He is really angry and feels completely deceived. Johnny called the arrangement untenable 
and implied that Ella could have to quit her job working with Liam at the GP practice. Johnny continued, Paula Lane, who plays Ella, is a delight to work with. Having worked on Corey for six years, she exhibits impeccable professionalism. Plus, she's a fantastic company. She is simply an amazing actress. She did a fantastic job on the recent monologue she recorded. Right before I left for home, I viewed it at the AD office. As I saw her performance, I started to cry. It was an excellent lesson. Rebecca Sarker, star at Emmerdale, has disclosed which Manpreet Sharma plotline was discarded. Rebecca said in an interview with Inside Soap that Manpreet was first introduced as a love interest for Rishi, and early on there was an idea she would cheat on him with his son, Jay. Continuing, Rebecca said, I'm glad they didn't go down that route as it gave the character more longevity. Originally, she was going to be a bit of a gold digger and a temptress. Also, Chris Bisson, Jay, and I played brother and sister in Corey 25 years ago, so I was a bit concerned at the thought of our characters having an affair. In Coronation Street, Rebecca portrayed Nita Desai from 1999 to 2000, while Chris played her brother Vikram from 1999 to 2002. After getting embroiled in drug smuggling, Vikram fled to Mumbai, while Nina quit the street to open her own shop in Scotland. In 2018, Rebecca became a part of Emmerdale as Manpreet. Rebecca refers to Charles Anderson, the man Manpreet is currently seeing, as the love of her life. Charles is Manpreet's hero, and definitely the love of her life. She stated, she was in a miserable marriage with an abusive husband when they initially got together. As soon as they rejoined in the hamlet, everyone was cheering for them to get back together, and their happy ending came to pass. She did turn down his recent proposal, only because it wasn't the right circumstances, but it's always been about Charles for her. Bell was moved to tears last night on Thursday, May 23, in Emmerdale, as she paid tribute to her late mother, Lisa, on her anniversary. Bell became enraged at Tom's disparaging remarks about Lisa and pushed him to the ground. Fans of Emmerdale have now taken Bell's side, applauding her for at last confronting her violent husband. Bell was grieving her mother on the sixth anniversary of her passing yesterday evening when she heard a song that made her think of Lisa. Bell was told by Tom to wait in for a package on her day off while he feigned ignorance of Lisa's anniversary. After that, Bell and Piper left the house to go to Lisa's memorial picnic with Sam and Lydia, but they were unable to make it. Tom was so upset that Bell had not received the package that he quickly made deplorable remarks about Lisa. In a massive tantrum, Bell slammed Tom to the ground outdoors as she realized that, after all, he didn't know that it was an important day. As her relatives witnessed the incident, they assumed that Bell had attacked her husband and put Tom in the victim role. Following an uproar, Emmerdale supporters announced themselves as Teen Bell. Following Bell's decision to confront Tom, admirers have now flocked to social media to express their happiness with her actions from yesterday night. Nice one, Bell, said an admirer. Now put a stop to this and give him a kick to the head. When I tell you my jaw was on the ground when Tom said that, yelled another Emmerdale watcher, completely repulsive, Gito F-O-R-I-T-E-L-L-E, yeah, push him, Bell. Nice one, said a third. What will happen to Bell following her outburst with Tom? Following Bell's highly publicized tantrum from yesterday, Tom keeps acting like the victim. Will anyone accept his suggestion that Bell is the one in need of expert assistance, as he has already indicated to Liam? Or will Bell eventually stop being abused by Tom? Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.